Today, we're diving deep into the wild world of the NBA MVP race. And there's a name that's causing a major buzz, Nikola Jokic. I know, I know you might be thinking, what happened to the others? But trust me, Jokic's season is so mind-boggling that it makes perfect sense why he's back at the numero uno spot. I did a little research to see who's leading the MVP conversation, and the list goes something like this. 1. Nikola Jokic 2. Giannis Antetokounmpo 3. Shai Gilgius Alexander 4. Luka Doncic Wait, what? Luka was number one for so long. Well, folks, the tables have turned, and here's why. Jokic is in the midst of another historic season, gunning for his third MVP in just four seasons. Let's take a look at his current stats. Jokic is dropping an average of 25.5 points per game, ranking 15th in the NBA. His rebounding game is on point, standing at 11.8 boards per game, securing the fourth spot. But wait, there's more. He's dishing out 9.2 assists per game, landing him at number 3. Shooting-wise, he's rocking a jaw-dropping 56.9% from the field, a decent 34.2% from downtown, and a stellar 81.8% from the free-throw line. Now, that's a complete package. But hold up, the Jokic show hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows. On December 18th, the guy had a game against the Dallas Mavericks that can only be described as meh. 8 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists, shooting 37.2% from the field, and a big fat zero from deep. Sounds like a subpar game, right? Well, guess what? The Nuggets still dominated, winning by a whopping 26 points. Jokic might not have been at his best, but he's still the best. Even opponents like Luka Doncic can't deny it. But he's a great guy. Uh, that's what I love the most about him. I mean, you know, just always joking around. Uh, he's just a simple and very amazing man. Yeah, he's a great basketball player, but he's a great guy too. Always joking around, just a simple and amazing guy. Right now, probably the best basketball player in the world. After a stellar start, some expected more from Jokic. A couple of games might not have been the typical Jokic performances, but according to Jeff Teague's podcast, and trust me, that podcast is comedy gold, Jokic might be intentionally taking it easy to avoid the MVP hype. Yeah, you heard that right. He's so good, he doesn't even want the press. Yeah, he's not out here trying because he doesn't want the MVP. He's avoiding the media pressure for winning, Jeff Teague. But let's be real, folks. Do we really care about the MVP race when it comes to players like Joel Embiid, who might not make it far in the playoffs? Jokic is a game changer. He's the maestro orchestrating the Nuggets symphony, averaging a staggering nine assists per game as a center. That's unheard of and, dare I say, MVP material. Let's start with the MVP race. Jokic is in the spotlight and it's not because he's hungry for that MVP title. Nope, he's claiming he doesn't want the attention, just wants to chill with his horses after the season and maybe win a championship along the way. Now back to the season, and trust me, it's been a roller coaster. Take that game against the Golden State Warriors, for instance. Jokic dropped 26 points, 14 rebounds, and 8 assists. Sounds good, right? Well, here's the catch. He shot 33% from the field, 0% from deep, but a perfect 18 for 18 from the free throw line. And just when you thought things couldn't get weirder, enter Jokic's slump buster game against the Memphis Grizzlies. He put up his usual 26 points, 14 rebounds, and 10 assists, a regular Jokic stat line, right? But hold up, this time, he went 11 for 11 from the field, 3 for 3 from the line, and 1 for 1 from deep. What? Even Jaron Jackson Jr., the Grizzlies Defensive Player of the Year, had praised Jokic's accuracy, but this was on another level. Just about everything out there. Coming off the screen, into a post-up, he's coming off a wedge, into mm -hmm. the post-up, whipping the pass, up, and then like out of nowhere, when you think you finally, it's a three ball. I'm like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. They get the arc and you're just like, come on, he don't miss. I haven't seen him miss a shot against us like probably ever. Oh, did I mention Jokic became the first player in NBA history to drop a 20-nil triple-double without missing a shot, including free throws and three-pointers? Yeah, that happened. In a league where we're used to high-flying dunks and flashy crossovers, Jokic is out here making history with his impeccable shooting. And let's not forget the praise he's getting from fellow players. Anthony Edwards, rocking that one seed with the Timberwolves, straight up said Jokic is the best player in the league right now. When asked about his own ranking, he gave a quick nod to Jokic, acknowledging the man's dominance on the court. Even against defenders like Anthony Davis, Jokic has proven he's in a league of his own. But what's even more mind-boggling is Jokic's casual approach to the game. 
He claims he's not even playing for real, just orchestrating wins and making history while thinking about post-game horse rides. It's almost uncomfortable for him, according to Michael Porter Jr.'s podcast. Uncomfortable for who, Jokic? For us, maybe, as we try to comprehend how a player can be this good and still act like it's just another day in the office. According to the man himself, winning is not just a part of the game, it's a lifestyle. He's all about that winning obsession, that lifestyle where every game is a potential victory. Jokic spills the beans, confessing that losing just doesn't sit right anymore. They've won so much that it feels off. Winning for Jokic is more than just a scoreboard. It's a way of life, and who wouldn't want to embrace a lifestyle of constant victory? Now, let's fast forward to the historic game against the Hornets. Jokic put up a casual 13 points, 11 rebounds, and 6 assists, shooting a crisp 6 for 7 from the field. Nothing too flashy on the stat line, right? But here's the kicker. He did it in just 20 minutes. The Nuggets blew out the Hornets, and Jokic added another chapter to his surreal season. Oh, and here's a curveball. Jokic is apparently on his way to snag his third MVP title. And get this, he doesn't even train in the offseason. LaMarcus Aldridge spilled the beans on the latest All the Smoke episode, expressing how mind-boggling it is that Jokic, the man dominating the league, didn't touch a basketball all summer. Aldridge is all of us, scratching our heads and wondering if the NBA has changed or if Jokic is just that good. And who does Aldridge think is the best player in the world right now? Yep, you guessed it, Jokic. Now the Nuggets did end up losing their next game against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Shout out to Shea Gilgius Alexander for putting up an MVP caliber season. Although the Nuggets took an L, Jokic continued his absurd run. In that game, he posted 19 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists, shooting a stellar 9 for 10 from the field. And guess what? Even in defeat, Jokic had folks across the league buzzing about him. Now let's fast forward to the historic game against the Hornets. Jokic put up a casual 13 points, 11 rebounds, and 6 assists, shooting a crisp 6 for 7 from the field. Nothing too flashy on the stat line, right? But here's the kicker, he did it in just 20 minutes. The Nuggets blew out the Hornets, and Jokic added another chapter to his surreal season. Jokic is apparently on his way to snag his third MVP title, and get this, he doesn't even train in the offseason. LaMarcus Aldridge spilled the beans on the latest All the Smoke episode, expressing how mind-boggling it is that Jokic, the man dominating the league, didn't touch a basketball all summer. Aldridge is all of us, scratching our heads and wondering if the NBA has changed or if Jokic is just that good. Whether he's orchestrating wins, embracing a lifestyle of constant victory, or dominating without off-season training, Jokic is truly a basketball enigma. Enjoyed this content? Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more.